my toasties, I'm here. We today we are back with this lovely specimen right here with his totally functioning family who don't seem to be going crazy at all. And our dog is sad. Why is our dog sad? No, oh, it's got fleas. Okay. <laughs> and today we are going to be joining an occult. Not a cult. I mean, we're already kind of in a cult, but, but we're joining an occult or occult. Uh, we're we're gonna try. Who are you? Oh, you're okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, we're gonna be joining the uh, the the land of vamp vampires. We're still living in this house, but we're gonna be trying to become a a vampire. I mean, hopefully, it's gonna be a little less scary living in this house if we're a vampire, right? Hello, Bella. I don't want to go on a date with you. Right, we're going to go and see the top vampire guy, or one of the vampire guys, and uh, make some friends. We got Caleb and uh, Lil Lilith, and we've got Mr. Big Count Dude up there. I mean, Lilith look, is a ladies' man, right? So maybe we talk to Lilith. Let's, let's talk to Lilith. I can't spell. I can't. I can't say her name properly. Lilith. There we go. Yes, our plan is to become vampires. And then... Oh, hello, Caleb. And then take over the world with vampires. Oh, Phil, let's uh, see if Li Lilith... Oh, there she is, right. Hello, Lilith. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be talking to you if I can't even say your name right. Hello. I am here to become vampire. The annoying thing is with this is that you have to friend people... And I'm not good at making friends. Why are you excited? Oh, you had a nap. Okay. Good for you, Phil. If you are energized from having a nap, then... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we ask to turn? Straight away? Come on, Alice, please. No candy. I do not want to talk. Ask Judy. I don't think she's pregnant, to be honest. Uh, Lilith doesn't seem to be happy with us for some reason. I don't know why. Flirt <laughs> straight away. <laughs> I mean... Phil will be Phil. He will want to flirt with people. Whether they're male or female. I acknowledge it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I've got full, um, full flower arranging. That was totally legitimate as well. <laughs> Where are you going, Phil? Describe apocalypse? No, Jade, I do not want to go on a date. Ah, <sighs> this is why, this is the problem with being such a ladies' man. You just got, you just get all the girls, won't you? Just, just flocking over you. Maybe it was better to go talk to the Count, because the Count is evil, and so is Phil. So, maybe it was best to go talk to the cat. I'm not sure. Let's keep going, Phil. Let's go about price position. <laughs> oh dear. Phil is on the roll. Oh, just keep just keep going. Keep going. Oh, wait, is she friends now? <gasps> come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Where is it? Astroturn. Come on, come on, come on. Please, Lilith. Here we go, here we go. Right, come on. So now, Phil has been a mermaid, and he's also now been a vampire. Thank you. Right, come on, Phil, let's go home. <laughs> so, yeah, the plan was... I I'm not going to ask where you had a bike. Um, but yeah, the plan is for Phil to become the top o vampire overlord in our world of Sims here. And I mean, we do have the Count. We may have to get rid of the Count, I'm not going to lie. We our, our number one goal is to become the, the top overlord in the vampire world. And to turn everyone else into vampires. I forgot you were my butler. <laughs> it's been a while. And until we become a vampire, we've got to deal with our, our lovely haunted house. I need to remind myself of all my characters here. <laughs> I love this house. <laughs> run, Summer, run. Run. Uh, Summer, it's on your shoulder. There you go. I just love this house. This house is amazing. Everyone in this house is just terrified. Do we have to move house? Because everyone is just like permanently scared. Ah! Oh, that's, that's, that's not creepy at all. I'm not surprised he's too scared to go near it. That thing is terrifying. <laughs> I think we need to move house. Because uh, things here seem to be a little bit too creepy for them to live in. Dwarf, come and remove the creepy top, please. It's like a pentagram thing. 
let's not go there. Let's just not go there. Right, I, th I think we need to move house because, like, people are a little bit too scared to do anything in this house. Once uh, once Phil wakes up, I think we need to, to get them a new house. Oh, we got a ghost. Oh, it's so cute. Right, we're going we're gonna to do one last ghost. Um, communication, come on. Come on. Oh, no. I think that's our, our sign to uh, to move. Uh, we could just m split from the house, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling generous today, I think. Let's just all move instead. <laughs> What better place for a vampire to live in than an actual vampire play, uh, vampire town? Okie dokie, so... <laughs> this is the new house. This is from the gallery. I didn't make it. It's not me. Uh, it's nice, it's nice. I, li I quite like it. It's quite nice. And, and, uh, it looks pretty normal. Uh, it's quite, quite nice inside. Quite lit, quite elegant. And, uh downstairs and um and then, and then there's the basement <laughs> you know i had to do it guys you know i had to do it this this is where summer and uh clement are going and uh, so yeah this is clement and summer's living quarters so they've got plenty of stuff to live on um they got things to to do and and things to make money for um got a nice toilet here which you know is open plan and then we got um we got phil's room here which is a little bit nicer it's, it's quite empty but it'll do right uh phil you need to prank someone this is like your favorite day i had a nightmare about being a tiny ant trying to survive by storing green parts of food only to be sucked into a llama I had a nightmare about being chased by an overly muscular Yamachan. The dream is over, but the nightmare is my last turn. Kenzie, you shut up. To be honest, I didn't know. Um, if. Oh, we got a lot of birthdays. Uh, summer, Dwarf, Earth Cake, Little, Bill, Mackenzie again. Are we on the low settings? Yes, we are. That is why. There we go, much better. Alright, I can't remember how long it takes for. Sim to become a vampire. We're just gonna keep going. So this sweaty and miserable. Is this a si sure sign that he dislikes fitness? Sure. <laughs> he continues to do it anyway. Uh Phil, you are a strange character. You really are. You don't like fitness yet. You choose to kick a ball around. Oh right. Look at this. I just seen it. Make an off. Let's go all out with this. I wanna see what this is. Come on, Phil. We gotta see what it is. You gotta see what this is. Wish, wish for a child. <laughs> He's getting another child. Hello, this is the adoption agency calling for film world in. Your application papers were above and beyond any we've ever seen. There's no doubt in our minds that you'll be, be an exemplary father. In recognition of your propensity for pairing, for parenting, you've been pre approved for free adoption. Uh, before you hang out there, this is. Limited time offer, so please rush your computer to adopt today. Oh, well, we need to adopt. <laughs> we need a computer. Why are you just make an adoption today? Why not? Come on, Phil. We gotta adopt another child. I mean, this is this is just a sign. I think this is um the fact that we've got a child here called Alberto, and my channel mascot is called Alberto. So I think it's a sign, guys. <laughs> Go, Phil. This is important. <laughs> Well, at least we know that Earthcake and Dwarf get along quite well, because whenever I look at them, they they seem to be talking to each other. So, at least we know that they're getting on. Alberto, well done, we're keeping it as Alberto. I mean, I could have made it in the most stupid name, but we're keeping it Alberto because it's very important. <laughs> Why have you... Oh, you've got a sentiment already with the child? Adoring? Guys, it is the sign we're going to love this child like no other. Like, Earthcake and Dwarf are just gonna be like, Hey, you're ditching us for a baby? Yes, yes, that is. That, that is very true. Alberto can be our next heir. <laughs> Alberto is hungry. No, we have to look after this child. Hey, Alberto, it's me. Your new father. I'm here to look after you. Well, can you stop making things, or stop doing things that are gonna make you pee? And actually pee? I mean, look, they're, they're having a great time together. 
I mean, they <laughs> they probably noticed that uh, they're not going to get much love from from Phil anymore because Phil's got a new child. Yeah, Phil's got a new child, so Earthcake and Dwarf are just kind of like thrown out the window at this point. Summer and Clement are having a blast down here as well. They've got the the best room in the house, I think. Phil. What is it with you and fitness? Like, you say that you dislike fitness and yet you keep kicking a football around. You you confuse me on multiple levels, Phil. Look at him go. Look at him go! We have a bad time. Yeah, then stop, Phil. Just, uh, cook food. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is a very important food group. Very important food group. One of the, the most important. Oh my god. Oh, Phil, you really do, you really do amaze me every single time that I play Phil. Don't worry, just your regular hamster just cooking some mac and cheese. Imagine just walking into the house and, and you just see this massive hamster just eating some mac and cheese at the, the family dinner table. Kenzie, what's wrong with you? You're tired. So you're going to sleep outside in the snow. Okay. Boy needs a bath. Well, look after your dog. Work for summer starts in an hour? No, that's not gonna happen. Because she is, um, she is preoccupied. Just your regular hamster giving a dog a bath. It's flashing. Flashing. <gasps> Finally! Do -do -do. Oh, um. Okay. You're, you're looking pretty hip there, Phil. I'm not gonna lie. We need to, to sew out your your new outfits, I think. You look so hip, I'm not gonna lie. Right, I think with being a vampire, so in his normal form, he's a hamster, right? But in his vampire form, I think he needs to be a bear. Because, uh, you know, it's kind of like a revert, or well, not a reverse, but like kind of like a werewolf. Like when you, when you become a werewolf, you become a big bad wolf. So, becoming a vampire, you go from a happy hamster to scary bear. So, I think, I think that, ooh, I think that's really important. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh dear. I, I don't know how I feel about the nose ring. But that is a really big nose ring considering the size of Phil's nose. There we go, right, we are, <laughs> we're done. And I got rid of his, his weird lines on his face as well. So... That's, it's all good. He's going to be the Werehamster. <laughs> it's going to be his nickname, the Werehamster. <laughs> I love it. Right, so we've finally become a vampire. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot of the amount of support that I get. <laughs> Just straight down to uh, Clement. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to